Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. We are here post art and Valentine card reveal. It was a great little ceremony. We're excited. I'm sitting here with the 2021 Valentine lady. We have Jeannie right here. And then we have the Valentine card winner, the artist herself, Cindy. Hello. How's it going, ladies? Good. Good. Going great? Yeah, awesome. We, we lucked out on the weather, too. Oh, yeah, you wow. did. You did. did. So how's it feel? Like, what did you feel inside when you found out? Were you shocked? Were you? I, I actually was very shocked. <laughs> they surprised me, and I don't do good with surprises. So I was very, very happy. I couldn't believe I actually got it, you know. I just uh, been here forever. I'm part of Old Loveland, so it was very nice and very happy to be here. Well, I read your bio, so you're really downplaying yourself. I know all the stuff that you've done, you know, being an MA for 35 years, all the donating you've done, helping the kids with books, like you've done a lot. So talk about your favorite thing, you know, whether it's charity, whether it's whatever you've done in your life, what has been your favorite experience? Well, actually working in the school with all the kids, I actually was a tutor uh, for a couple of years, helping kids read. And one of my kids was my own grandson. Oh, wow. So, but not very long. But I, uh, he, I told him when I'm there and all the other little kids, uh, a lot of us ladies kept socks uh, and gloves and, and hats in our uh, purses. Right. Because kids seem to never have in the winter the things they need. And they're, they're sweet. God love them. They have to tell you their life story history and mm -hmm. what they're doing in the world. I actually went skating with one of the kids at the roller rink and I hadn't skated in probably uh -oh. tw <laughs> 20 years. So you never know, but yeah. that, that was a good thing. Also, I worked for Dr. Mohendra Sood here in Loveland. Uh -huh. So I helped the patients a lot and, and I had a good time with them. So I've, I've done a lot of things. I've been very fortunate. Yes, you have. Very, very fortunate. Now tell me with this new position, because it's going to it's going to go into 2022. Right. Uh, CC uh, said today because right. of COVID and right. what's going on and we want to make sure you get your actual celebration right. What are you going to do with this position? Well, I get to go to the school next year and read to all the kids. I also picked a book. I'm a, a volunteer at the SVCA, so I picked a book. I can't wait to read it to them. It's Can I Be Your Dog? Oh, my gosh. So the kids are going to love it. Yes. Um, and I want to promote that, too, for everybody. Yes. So that's going to be my goal is to try to represent what I do and what I think about my city. That makes me so happy to hear. And then we have Cindy. Cindy. And and, and tell tell me your 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 relation here because you, you spoke about it a little earlier, but I want the people to hear it too. Okay, great. Well so I call Jeannie my Aunt Jeannie. Technically she's not really my aunt, but my grandma and Jeannie are cousins. So technically whoops. So technically we are we're definitely family. We're family. Yes. And yeah. uh, we've spent a lot of Fourth of July's together. Yep. And we have mm -hmm. definitely enjoyed living in this town with one another. Oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yes. now, now, in saying that, Cindy, we're going to look at your art piece here as it just blew over, you know, in the wind. <laughs> yeah, it's but hold it. yeah, hold it up for us. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, hold that thing up. Now, hold it. Yeah, proud. Love it. Okay. Now, 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 tell me what went into this. Why a, why a bike? You know, what, what are some of the details here that, you know, are because I know there's always underlying meanings with art. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so right, let's right. talk about that real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So I love the bike trail. In fact, that's how I fell in love with Loveland. So I've been running now for about eight years okay and just coming down to this bike path and just seeing the fresh air the nature the community come together and it's just so interesting because I see the same people every day you know the high fives the waves you have a random stranger telling you good job right I'm proud of you you know right. so I'm just kind of falling in love with just this town right and how of cute of a community it is yes. really <laughs> so um, when I think about when I've like kind of um, enjoy the town itself it's been on a bike so I decided well why not an old-fashioned bike oh, yes because the town is very and like Jane what the genie mentioned old Loveland like that's what this town was known for yep, old yeah and so I thought well maybe a, a red old-fashioned bike right and of course if you look in the very uh, front here in the basket okay it says deliver to the land of love and when I even when I travel outside of Loveland and I tell them I'm Cindy from Loveland, Ohio. They're like, Loveland? 
<laughs> like, are you making that up? And I, honestly, my nickname for this town has just been the land of love. I'm living in the land of love. And I just, it's just such a quaint uh, ring to it, yes, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And if you look at the envelopes, they have the hearts on them. Oh, yes. And in this, and because I don't think a lot of people realize the tradition of how valentines are routed to loveland to get stamped and sent around the world or anywhere loved ones want to send wow. them so this is just kind of like the point in between before they actually get to their final destination right right now you know we call it the sweetheart of ohio but yes. the land of love i'm liking that i think we should change it <laughs> don't you guys think love. right now yeah that's land what i'm saying right? right now with what's going on oh amen. land of love is okay this yes. is the most positive place to be right now you know yeah. so so cindy one more thing here sure. like are you an artist or did this just <laughs> one day you're like you know what i'm gonna do this well, it's funny i grew up in the theater the stage company across the street at what? Loveland stage company yeah. with good old peggy yes yes i love that <laughs> awesome so i usually do that kind of art okay and then as a kid i always liked drawing and then i became a teacher and life got crazy and busy you yes. know but i always enjoyed it i just kind of stopped doing it right so then i thought well maybe i'll just challenge myself and see if this is a way that i can represent my town so i thought okay I'll challenge try it. accepted you yeah. know shoot i could never do that <laughs> Yeah. All of a sudden, hey, one day, like, I want to create a piece of art. Mine would be chicken scratch, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, in saying that, I mean, once that piece of art goes out, how's that going to feel for you? I mean, that's pretty Aww. cool going all around <laughs> so the world, cool. you know? Well, it's, it's a cool feeling. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, just to be, like Jeannie said, just to represent our town. Oh, and just yeah. get the name out there of this cute community. Yes. It's it just, it, that's a privilege in itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think you're right. Just to even live in this place of love during this time yep. is even better during than this, this artwork. Time. Really. I Come agree. see us. Get yes. your Valentine's. Well, yeah, tell them. Do you know where they're going to be sold? At, well, time? they're in different businesses okay. in okay. Loveland, but they'll be stamping them at our post office, mm -hmm. and that schedule will be coming up pretty soon so you can see where to okay. come and get them stamped. And now they were talking, we've actually got a stamp now, a real postal stamp oh, that's so with great. a heart on it so you can purchase stamps now that have the heart on them wow put them on your valentine yeah that's what i'm saying exactly yeah. put them on your exactly. valentine exactly and i had the privilege to stamp last year it was just it was neat so like once you're wow. nominated for the valentine lady you get put in like the sweetheart court right. and so you have the opportunity to go stamp valentines if you want and it was just such a neat experience just to <laughs> see people they're, and they're excited, Jeannie. Like, oh, wait, this is going to go to Italy. One went to Italy last year. Yeah. So Another city of love, you know? Right? <laughs> That's so cool, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So it's just wow. a neat experience. So. Well, Loveland, there you have it. I mean, we have two of the <laughs> sweethearts of Loveland right here. They're going to go celebrate with their family at uh, Ramsey's, well, right? A local are. legacy yeah. in itself. Yeah. Thank you guys for, you. for hanging out with us. And Thank congratulations. You, and uh, you. we're excited to share this love with the community. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Very much. See you later, loved one. Yes. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are.